Hello, oh, YouTube. Sorry for the late video, but this is my end of October 31st, 2021 stacking video for my pickups I picked up this month. I'm silver by the ounce, so thank you for joining me. Um, even though it's the almost the end of the second week of November, I've been I've been very busy, thankfully. So I like to start off with where silver and gold are um, the end of October. It may be up or down now, but this is where it ended October 31st. So gold ended up $30.30 over the end of September at $17.83.44. So that's pretty good. Um, silver, same thing, up $1.80 month over month where it was $22.10 in the last day of September. So that's good. And also the one ounce gold to silver ratio. So one ounce of gold equals 74.63 ounces of silver. And that's actually down 4.69 ounces. So that means uh, silver is catching up to gold, so to speak. It'll never catch up to gold. But you could buy less silver with one ounce of gold. And the rule of thumb is you want to attack um, silver when gold price is, let's say this is showing like 90 or something, but this is still very respectable to start accumulating silver. Because as that number goes down, the price of this, when this number goes down, the price of silver is catching up to gold. So that's a good thing. So it definitely was down uh, four and almost three quarter ounces month over month. So let's talk about what I got this month. Let's talk about this first of all. So I have this box and in this box, is three 2021 peace dollars. So they came out at the mint, they came out with uh, Morgan's, the mintage on this was 200,000. Um, my father actually got the entire Morgan's series, which one day will end up going to me anyway. But um, he got three of these also, the uh, peace dollars. I am not opening this box. Obviously, my address is on here, and I'm just keeping it sealed, okay? So I got three of them. Um, and the point is, I may at one point take this to get graded. So if you do not open your box and you're able to send it to the grading company, you get the first day of issue grading on it. So to me, I don't really need to see if they're in there. I know they're in there. Um, so I'm going to go and just end up sending this to a grading company one day. If I never send it, then it doesn't get sent. If it does, if I do open it, then it does. It is, it is whatever it is. I don't really care. Um, the bottom line is though with this, these are like proof coins. Uh, so they don't count towards, of course they count towards my stack. They're 0 0.999 silver and each coin is 0.858 ounces of silver. So just under an ounce. Um, and like I said, the minage was 200,000. So at $85 each plus $5 shipping for all three, it cost me $259.95. So this goes into my more collectible stack, which you know what I, allu I alluded to get into. In 2021, I have my goals and we're coming towards the end of the year here. Lower my silver cost average, obtain a specific amount of silver and gold, finish and obtaining my ongoing sets. That is essentially my goals. And usually what I stack versus what I collect, items that I could get rid of quickly, bullion bars and rounds. Now, I'll be honest with you, if this went to let's say $400 per coin, I would open them up and I would sell them. Maybe I would sell them if I got them graded, who knows? There's only 200,000 of them. Um, I don't think it's really gotten uh, the running start that it deserves. And I think over time it's destined to go up because they're peace dollars and they only made one type of this, this one year. So that's interesting. Um, and then what I collect are things that I actually care about my sets, my collections and series, which is all of the following here. So that's where I'm at. So let me, why we got into that, let me go into what I picked up. So one of the things that I do collect are the Libertads. Now I did not get this year's yet. I have a 2020, this is an MS-70. This was given to me as a gift. I did not pay a penny for it. Now this technically goes into my stack. Now these are like, 
$130, $140 for this coin, maybe $100, something like that. The bottom line is I didn't have to pay any money out of my pocket. So I basically got a free coin as a gift and that goes towards my stack. Even though this one's graded and let's say these aren't, these are collector coins and this one is more um, bullion graded coin. Um, and yes, it's graded, but it does go under bullion. So it's zero dollars for what I picked up for this one. So it's a beautiful coin. It really is a gorgeous coin, um, but it didn't cost me a penny. And I like when silver is free or any precious metal. Then I got three real eight reals coins and I'm collecting 1772 to the present day Libertads. So that is a feat and I only collect graded coins. So let's start with the oldest eight. I got an 1884. It is AU58 and you can see right here it's Mexico City. I point this out every single time I put one of these on. Right there, right there shows MO and MO stands for Mexico City. All right, so I have one of these. This is called the Cap and Rays. Um, and it's AU58, and I got this was a great deal. This one cost me $99 shipped, and it's graded. So um, my father actually lives in a state not far from me because I'm on the East Coast where his state, you don't get charged tax for coins and bullion, but my state, you do get charged tax. So I just send everything to his house and I pick it up there, which isn't so bad. So he gets to see everything first that I get, which is kind of like a nice thing for him. So this cost me 99 bucks. And you know, it has the, uh, the hook neck eagle on the, or it has the eagle on the back with the snake. Um, and you know, this one will get crossed off my list momentarily. Next one I got, this was a great deal, 1891, it's an AU50, and same thing, you know, this MU, MO is a little bit more clear. You could see 1891 and see that MO right there. Um, this is an almost uncirculated 50. I only collect graded, like I said. This cost me a whopping $58.50 shipped. Pretty great, okay? Again, these are both eight real coins. And lastly, this is an almost uncirculated 55, AU55. It's the 1910, um, it's called the Cabalito, it's a peso. So we got, we, the pesos started to become pesos in the late 1890s or maybe very early 1900s, like 1901, 1902. So then they came out with this and you could see they're on the horse. It is a gorgeous coin, actually. It, it really is. This is my first Caballito. I was talking about it last month, and I did end up getting it. I got this deal. It was a great deal. I, I have not seen a deal like this, and I had to jump all over it. I got it for $86 in an auction. I actually won it for $86 shipped. $86 even. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, and you can see the back. Un peso. Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Um, beautiful coin. It cost me 86 bucks. So for all four of these coins, this one was free, but for all three of these coins, it cost me 99, 58, and 86. Um, if I factor this in, well, I don't factor that in. If I factor this and this, all of these together, all six of these, because there's three in here and there's three here, cost me $503.45. Then we have the loan Libertad. And the Libertad was free. This was free. So let's see where I am. This is my monthly list. So that was up to July. This is August, September, October. And you can see this is exactly how much these cost me. All right. Then I look at my uh, brilliant uncirculated cost, which would normally be for this. And let's just say this is a $100, $120 coin. But I didn't pay a dime for it. It was a free coin. Then, how many ounces this month? Well, one ounce, that's it. The one loan ounce um, in the month cost per ounce was zero because it was a free coin. So I take this amount, which I bring down here, um, add zero to it for zero for that coin. It comes up to the same number, but I get to add one ounce to my stack. And then when you add it all up and divide it by the amount I've spent over these last seven, eight years, 
$23.758. And last month I was at 23.69. So I am actually down one cent on my total cost basis. And you could go over here and look at the beginning of the year. And my cost basis where I started the year was, let's see, where the heck's it at? 23.68. And now I'm at 23.75. So I am up because guess what? Silver went up. Gold went up. It all went up. And I definitely had aspirations of getting, what was my aspiration this year? 2021 goal, 106 and a half ounces and 1.5 ounces of gold. Where am I at? I'm at 35.5 ounces. Will I buy more? I may get more into the end of the year. I'm not 100% sure I'm doing that as of yet. Um, so we will see where I'm at. But ultimately, this is where I'm at, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. And here again is all of my purchases. The coin, how much I paid for them. And that was it. And this is where I'm at. 23.758 per ounce is where I am now. So guys, thanks for joining me and I will see you probably the beginning of December for the month of November. Have a great month, everyone.